Alrighty, hello folks. So here I am going to be doing just a quick tutorial about how to get your contract verified uh, via Polygon Scan so that other people can go and interact with it. And uh, to tell you exactly what this means, we can go and take a look at Polygon Scan. We can take a look at the Web3 token. And if you look at the bottom here, you have all these different things you can look at. You can see the transaction transfers holders, but then you got this contract um, address and you can actually go through and it allows you to well actually interact with the contract itself you can add new owners you can update do these calls and you know all these you know fun little things and this is just to the web3 token now you might think that this is like by default once you upload your contract to the blockchain you actually get this you know get you know get the access to this but the truth is it isn't you actually have to go through this process of first verifying your contract code to make sure that you know you can get the ABI so that people can read and write to it and actually see what's going on with the contract so today I'm going to talk a little bit about how to make that easy to be able to go through and you know verify your contract so I am on my token I created for the web3 game it's the Schusterian polygon token SPT <coughs> oh, excuse me SPT to be able to you know send out to people finish the game and go through the contract and so today we're going to go and we're going to verify this contract so first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to take your contract and make sure it's in remix this is remix.ethereum.org I created my own contract and I just use the default contract you know that exists you know in you know that, that basically Sahil used and I used it's just you know it's pretty simple and it inherits a lot from the ERC20 but in order to get the full contract, you can't just put this in. Like, let me let me show you what happens. So even though I know what Open Zeppelin is and everything's brought in, if I go and try to take this contract and verify it, I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna say this is a solid. This is gonna be a Solidity single file. It is version 8.7. I know that from experience. There is no license here. I B Schuster agree. That's great. So I've already signed up here. So you may have to sign up and create an account. That's what I did. So if I take this account and put this in here, this is actually what I thought I compiled, right? And there are some arguments here. So I'm gonna go and do I am not a robot and I'm gonna verify and publish because this is this is my contract. Verify, publish, and invalid capture response. So let's see what happens. Hmm, okay, gonna verify and publish again. And we're going to wait a second here for it to compile. And unable to compile the bytecode. What you end up getting, and I'm gonna zoom in here so you're able to see this, is you get this import statement of what's going on here. And the truth is, is that this actually can't, the polygon scan can't actually parse out this import. It, the, you know, it doesn't know what to do with that information. So what we have to do is we have to provide it the uncompiled, unimported code, namely what it's do, you know, what, you know, because all this line is doing is it's just saving all that information, information, you know, that's in this file, just appending it to the top and then getting access to it. And that's a process that in, you know, you know, in uh, smart contracts is called flattening. What we do is when, when we flatten a contract is we go, use the import, flatten everything out on top of it so that you actually get just the code written on top and then you go and submit that. So we're gonna go ahead and flatten this contract. So first thing you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to go to the bottom left here to this little plug and you're gonna to have to search for a, you know, in Remix, the flattener. And this flattener basically does exactly what I talked about. It takes the import statements that, that Remix can read but Polygon Scan can't and just adds, you know, adds it in. So. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add this flattener. Then we're gonna make sure that our code actually runs and compiles. So you can see the compiler version here, 0.8.7 in Solidity. You're gonna to have to remember that number and you're gonna compile the code. And again, yours might be different if you're running on 0.7 or something else, you're gonna to have to do that. The point is you need to be on the same exact compiler with the same exact code. And so then we're gonna go down and we're gonna to go to flatten. And then once we have it, we can flatten the contract-token.sol we're going to flatten it and now we're going to save it flatten compile contract and then we're going to accept and now we got the flattened contract 
So as you can see, we're actually going in and, you know, you know, expand it out quite a bit. We're now at line 542. Um, but this is everything that you get access to. And you can see there's a lot of comments and things like that. So next, we're going to put this in here. So this should run and should go through, but we actually have to take another set of steps here. And this is because of the, um, what I think is something it should be smart enough to handle, but it can't at this point, has to do with the, um, the open source contracts. So if you scroll through these, what you'll see is that, well, let's see if it actually has them. Uh, actually, maybe these don't have it. So the version I had when I first started flagging the contract had a whole bunch of um, uh, solidity, basically some open source contracts at the very top that basically said that if it was MIT and it can't parse it out. But it looks like that doesn't actually exist here. So maybe Solidity was smart enough or the flattened contract was smart enough to pull that in. So all I did was just copy and paste what was there. I'm going to click I am not a robot again. I'm going to verify and publish. And again, I did 0.8.7. So this is the actual code. And what it's doing is it's basically compiling this down to bit code. So it's doing what we already did, right? To basically take this code, see how it actually gets po you know, populated and actually checks the contract byte code. Effectively, it's trying to see if it's the same. So the reason why you can't just deploy and get this out here is because the solidity or the um, polygon scan can't read this and turn this into the reverse. So it can't reverse out and turn this into a bunch of functions. It can't do that. But what it can do is it can take your contract that you wrote, compile it down to bytecode, and then see if that's the same as what is expected, you know, to do. And it turns out it verified this. This is the same exact bytecode that's on the blockchain. And so it successfully accepted it. So we then go do. Oh, is there a screen that I even have to put a? Nope, actually, that's it. So let's go back to the contract and see if it works. So here's my token. I got it down here. SPT. View asset on Explorer. And here's the contract. So now you can see things like the total supply. You can query. You can do balances. You can also write to it. You can increase allowances. This is standard ERC-20. So if I wanted to transfer to send to people, I can go and do that. So, anywho, that's the quick tutorial. Anywho, hope this guys helps you, and I hope you guys can now can go and get your contract verified. So, thank you very much for your time.